Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to my new video. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over step by step on how I edited this photo here. Um, so there is quite a few adjustments, there is a lot of adjustment brushes as you can see, and a graduated filter, so I'm going to be going over, you know, all of that and hopefully it gives you a few ideas that you can apply to your own photos. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the original, so you can see there is a major difference in saturation, clarity, and a lot of toning differences, like under the bridge here you can see I've added a bit of an orange tone and I'm going to be going over some useful techniques like that. Um, now quickly before we get into it, um, if you have a look in the description there is a link to my Facebook page here which I just recently started. Um, well it's actually been up for three months but I haven't told anyone about it and only like three friends here. Um, so if you do like my photography or my tutorials I'd really appreciate it if you could help support me and give my Facebook page a like. Now there is no photos on it yet, I was going to wait until I get a few likes and then I'll start uploading um, different photos like that. So if you do like my tutorials or my photos, this will be a good way to keep up to date and be the first to see those kinds of things. Um, also you'll see photos from different engagement shoots and portrait shoots here which you otherwise wouldn't see. Um, so for example this dark portrait here, I've only ever uploaded one photo of that to DeviantArt. Um, so you'll see the rest from that session on my Facebook fan page like that. Um, so it'll be a good way to see more of my photos or I'm usually on Facebook so you feel free to ask me questions or just chat to me about photography or gear or anything like that. Um, so really appreciate it if you could give it a like, help get my name out there, help me get some more work and hopefully improve my photography that way. Um, so yeah, thanks and let's get on to the tutorial. So we're going to get up our crop overlay up here, make sure our lock is unlocked so we can alter the aspect ratio and we'll just drag up the bottom like so and that seems about right like that. Um, so now that's done let's get into the actual adjustments. Um, so I'm not going to alter the white balance since it got it right in camera. Um, we're going to bring up our exposure just by 0.1. We're going to bring up our contrast to 75. Now what we're going to do with our highlights and shadows is pretty much just help balance it out quite a bit. So we're going to bring our highlights down to negative 60, our shadows up to 55, our whites down to negative 60, and our blacks up to 60. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we're going to do is go down to clarity, bring that up to 30, bring our vibrance up to 60, and our saturation up to 10. Now this is just to pretty much boost all the colors within the image, as well as, you know, sharpen up the edges, add a bit more clarity, make everything look a bit better. Uh, now, like I said, this isn't going to apply directly to your photo. This is just some ideas, and that's why I'm explaining it as I'm going. Now, we're going to change our point curve to medium, um, and that way it's just going to add a bit more contrast in, but then we're going to bring up our shadows to about 20 to get a bit more details back there. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to skip hue, saturation, luminance, and split turning and go down to detail. Now I'm going to use the same settings I always use, so 70 for the amount, 1.5 for the radius, 10 for the detail, and 30 for the masking. Then we're going to go down to noise reduction and add about 20 to luminance, and that's about it right there. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go up to our graduated filter option up here, hold Alt and hit reset just to make everything default, and start putting in some adjustments. So what I'm going to do is go down to our exposure, and this one is going to be for the sky, so I'm going to drop this by negative 1.9, so almost two stops less. Then we're going to bring up our contrast to about 30. Now what we're going to do is, with our tool selected, we're going to just click and drag it down quite a bit like that. And you can see it's just kind of darkening up the sky a little bit like that. Okay, so now that we've done our graduated filter, we're going to move on to our adjustment brushes. So again, hold Alt, and we're going to reset this. So what I'm going to do now is add another adjustment to our sky. So I'm going to bring our temperature towards the cooler side for this one, just negative 10, so slightly more blue. We're going to bring down our exposure to about 0.4, and we're going to bring up our contrast to 40, our highlights to 30, and our clarity to 30. Now we're just going to make the brush, you know, nice and big and feathered, and kind of just paint over our sky like so. And you can see it's just adding a bit more contrast, a bit more color, making our sky look a bit better that way. Um, now you can see it is making the top look a tad dark, so we're going to hold Alt and just kind of erase the part at the very top since our graduated filter took care of that. And then just, you know, paint it out of, you know, the trees and the buildings here since we don't want to color our buildings blue. And that's pretty good right there. Now I am rushing through this, so obviously take your time with it and you will get a better effect. 
So now that we've done that, we're going to click the new button here and hit reset again. Now you can see with that adjustment, it kind of made the cloud look really orange. I don't really like that, so I'm going to fix that. So to do that, it's really simple. We're just going to go down to our saturation and bring it down to about negative 40 and then paint over this cloud here to make it look completely white. Now just be careful you don't get it on the sky because you don't want your sky kind of going gray. Um, that's pretty good right there. And again, create a new adjustment brush and reset. So for this one now, what I'm going to do is apply an adjustment to the water. So to do this, what I'm going to do is bring our exposure down to negative 0.4, sorry. Then we're going to bring down our highlights to 25 and our shadows up to 50 and our clarity down to negative 30. So these adjustments, it's pretty much just going to balance out the shadows and the highlights as well as smooth out the water a little bit more. So now we're just going to paint over our entire water and make sure we get it all in like so. We can go up here a little bit and that's all looking uh, pretty good right there. Now we're going to create yet another adjustment brush and this will be one of the last ones now. So we're going to reset this again. Now for this one, what I'm going to do is add that orange tint to these pillars under the bridge. Now the reason I did this was I think it creates a nice color contrast between the blue and the orange. It just makes it look really nice and adds a bit more, you know, interest within the photo. So to do this, I'm going to warm up our adjustment brush. So about 35 uh, in our temperature slider here. I'm going to bring up our contrast to about 40 and I'm going to bring up our clarity and our saturation to about 30 and 20. Um, so now that we've done that, what we can go ahead and do is just kind of click on these bridge pillars a little bit with a kind of big feathered brush. And we'll click here, click here, click here. Now obviously if you were taking your time, you'd go in and kind of erase it so it's not hitting the water and stuff like that. Um, that's good enough for me for now. Um, so we're going to create one final adjustment brush and reset it. Now for this one, what I'm going to do is just bring up our shadow slider here to about 35 and we're going to bring up our clarity to about 30. Now what this brush is going to do is pretty much just, we're going to create a few highlights within the photo. So for example, we're just going to make a nice big brush and click on these trees on the side here. You can see it's just illuminating them and maybe on the buildings here, just adding a bit more interest. And then we're going to paint over these metal bars here just to make them stand out a little bit more. There we go. So that's all looking pretty good right there. And you can also see in the final one, I photoshopped out this metal part here as well as this bit of grass with the help of a friend. So if we have a look at the before and after, you can see there is a huge difference. Um, so I hope this helped. I hope it gives you some ideas that you can do with adjustment brushes and stuff like that. Again, I'd really appreciate if you could give my Facebook fan page a like um, since it will help me out a lot. Um, also, if you did like the video, you can feel free to give that a like to help spread it around or, you know, help my channel grow. You can subscribe for future tutorials. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.